The Solid Edge Embedded Client provides transparent integration between Solid Edge and Team Center and Team Center Express, resulting in faster completion of design projects. In this short demonstration, we'll make a design change to a part found in a riding lawnmower. In this case, we know the ECO number for the proposed change, and we use the Solid Edge Open File dialog to search for the files that have been linked to this ECO in Team Center. The search returns two assemblies and a sheet metal part. Note that the dialog displays key attributes and preview graphics of these Solid Edge files. This ensures that designers can quickly verify that this is the correct data. We specify that we want to open the assembly with the latest working revisions of all components and the assembly is opened. This release delivers improved performance when opening assemblies from Team Center. Note that the assembly pathfinder gives the user additional information on the status of all components in the assembly. For example, who has a part checked out, improving collaboration within your design teams. To make the desired change, we create a new revision of the seat frame subassembly. This process is completed automatically resulting in a new revision B of the subassembly that is checked out to the designer and ready for the design changes to be made. We now select this cover plate for modification. Note that this icon and the associated dialog box informs the designer that this is a read-only part and cannot be modified. This is an important safeguard as this part has already been released for manufacturing and is in use in our other lawnmower product lines. The designer selects the option to perform a Save As to create a new part based on the current design. In this example, we use the new Smart Codes capability to assign the part number. Using Smart Codes ensures that the new parts have intelligent part numbers that meet our company's standards. This will help ensure faster retrieval of data and improved reuse of proven components and new designs. After selecting the first two part number components from pre-configured lists, the next available part number for this part type is automatically generated. The proposed part number is displayed to the user. We can see how it has been configured to match the user's input. The file is also automatically renamed to match the part number. We'll now specify additional information for this part using the new list of values capability. This new capability also helps ensure that new parts are classified more accurately, resulting in faster retrieval and improved reuse of proven designs in the future. Note that these list of values are interdependent. The list presented to the user for subsequent attributes is modified after the first selection is made. This results in more accurate data being captured. An interesting capability is suggestive values. Here, the user can select from the predefined list of values or they can type in a new value. This suggestive capability provides for flexibility while promoting commonality. We then proceed to modify the geometry for this new part. In this case, we added louvers for improved cooling. When we have completed our design work and exit Solid Edge, the new part is saved and the modified top level and subassemblies are automatically checked back into Team Center as confirmed by this dialog another example of transparent completion of data management tasks. Finally, we switch to Team Center Express to see how our design work has been automatically captured and stored. This is how a non-Solid Edge user, such as an engineering manager, accesses the data. We can see the new part with its intelligent part number that was generated using smart codes. We also see the attributes that were specified using lists of values that help further define this part. And finally, we use the embedded viewer to review the new part.